First, let's understand what are these fallopian tubes. Fallopian tubes are very thin tube-like structures which connect the uterus and the ovary. So what they do, they actually collect the eggs from the ovary and wait for the sperm to come and fertilize the egg and the resulting embryo which forms, it carries that embryo back into the uterus. So fertilization actually takes place in the fallopian tube thus making it the most important structure. Now, what does blockage mean? Think of it like a roadblock. If the road is blocked, you cannot travel from point A to point B, right? So similarly, the egg cannot meet the sperm and embryo cannot form. So fertilization actually cannot happen. Now, what are the causes of this blocked fallopian tubes? It could be some infection, or it could be because of some previous surgeries or it could also be because of certain conditions like endometriosis etc. Now one thing you should remember is that if one fallopian tube is blocked while the other is open, natural pregnancy is still possible provided your ovulation is happening, your egg quality is good, husband's sperm parameters are also normal. Then you can definitely try for natural cycle pregnancy. But if both the fallopian tubes are blocked, IVF is going to be the best option possible. At Bricks Fertility, we help you diagnose the problem and treat you accordingly with the most advanced fertility treatment options available.